Hey everyone, it's Lauren here. Well, this video is a little bit different because this video I am not going to be creating anything. But instead, I'm going to be having a bit of a chat with you about cut files. Now, cut files are something that I use on a lot of my layouts. And I have been so lucky to be asked by Gwen from Cut To You Designs who designs these absolutely stunning cup files to be part of her second year birthday celebration and be involved in her YouTube hop. So she asked all these amazing creatives all over the world to join a hop for every day of the month and I am the lucky one for the 21st of July to share a project or chat about cut files or um, just delight in her beautiful company um, being successful for two years. She has also offered an amazing, amazing gift to you all and that's 20% 20, 20 off store wide if you put in the code Celebrate Lauren in all capitals. So if you check, well, if you you fall in love with these cut files like I'm about to share with you, you may want to uh, click on the link in the description below um, and head on over to the website. If something jumps out at you, pop it in your cart and make sure in the um, coupon code section you type in Celebrate Lauren and you'll receive 20% off store wide. Now cut to you ships worldwide and if you do not have a cutting machine then you are okay. If you love cut files but you do not want the hassle of having a silhouette or a cameo in your scrap scrap room well then she will cut them for you and ship them to you worldwide. So that amazing offer. This cutting cut files is very time consuming so um, that is a gift that she's giving you. <laughs> Anyway, so I thought I'd have a little bit of a chat about cut files, the different types of cut files and some different things that I've used. All the cut files featured here in this video are obviously cut to you cut files and um, they're all just delightful. Cut files like this gorgeous little fox here um, is one that I can't wait to create with next and I thought I might do this up and do a layout of my little girl but I just wanted to show you this because um, this is a, a character cut file and I hadn't had a chance to back the cut file but I just wanted to share with you different ways of um, having a look at this. So this is for this cut file what I was thinking about doing is backing the floral section but leaving this section here clear. I was also kept this little part of our gorgeous little foxy face and I thought I am going to do some mixed media on that piece and slot that back in and I thought I'm going to leave some of these pieces clear as well and just back some of these larger sections. Obviously back the bow and then I'll have a really lovely partly translucent cut file and it'll be perfect just to incorporate a photo but not take over my layout with quite a strong feature. So that's that's a gorgeous little fox. Uh, this is a lovely sweet one, our story. This also comes with a storybook in the cut file as well, but I had that one out ready to create something for my husband. Now when 2020 started and I was thinking about titling my Project Life album, I went to Gwen and I said, Gwen, I need a 2020 title page. So this is a perfect example of a really clean cut file, one that's just a simple title and you can back each of the letters or each of the numbers in this case and it becomes quite a solid feature with a gorgeous white outline there. So I just back those in different colours but as you can see it is a perfect cut file for a layout of a page. So simple backing is always a really uh, great way to start when you're working with cut files and it really makes your um, title or your number title, what I've got here, really pop and stand out there. So that was that one. Now this this is a delightful little cut file and what I've and this one here has three frames and then I thought I would back the, my photos in those fr three frames but I could say I only had two photos I could put an embellishment behind that frame or a piece of pattern paper and it's it would still look lovely it coordinate it is joined in with the title there so you're getting a title feature and as you can see I've only backed some of the florals in the cut file and I've done some with the blue with the yellow dots and the pink but I've left the leaves 
clear because I think having a having a mix of clear and backed is sometimes a really lovely way of not um, really having an impactful cut file that really takes over. So this is a really beautiful cut file. It's got a trio of frames there, a title which looks really great when you've put a piece of pattern paper under there. It doesn't take away and I've just backed some of this um, these cut files with this floral here and that's turned out to be a really sweet sweet little layout. This one here is another way that you can use cut files a little bit differently. Once again I've seen that if I've backed my U um, just in that traditional traditional way, just simple backing. But this one I thought instead of backing I really wanted it to be bold and stand out. What I would do is adhere it on to this coloured patterned I mean, patterned this card this card stock here, this coral card stock, and I'm just going to fussy cut a border around the outside and as you can see by just doing that it's really made that adorable really pop and even more so than the this you here adorable really stands out there so that's another way of um, using your cut files as well this is another thing that I like to do with cut files and that is using mixed media on top of them you could also do this by cutting it with pattern paper and having a pattern paper um, cut file there but instead of leaving it white like I have with these ones here I've coloured it and that just creates a bit of a different effect and it's almost like I've turned it into a bit of an embellishment. If I had coloured my background and put my cut file on top and the white was there it would sort of be like um, the mixed media was the feature and the cut file is sort of blended in. Whereas if by adding mixed media or using pattern paper cardstock, all of a sudden your cut file becomes a real feature on your layout and it helps it really stand out, as you can see on this one. So to help um, try and add a bit more dimension, I've used some texture paste there on that one and that just helps create the layers. I've also used some foam mount there just to um, rise up some of the edges but not adhered some of these as well so it just sort of brings it a lot brings it to life a little bit there so try that use mixed media on your cut files or um, simply cut your cut files in with pattern paper there this is another fun way you can buy cut files that um, uh, for your backgrounds and this one here I really loved it's like a confetti cut file and I've left that side up there so you can kind of see what I've done there I um, cut this out of white cardstock as you can see that's the base and then all the little bits and pieces that came off the cutting mat that it had cut this out I used mixed media and colored them and just sprinkled them down the page and then I added some clear enamel dots there just to sort of bring it bring it to life a little bit more but using cut files as the background page on your see how I've just used mixed media there and then all of a sudden it's like this um, so using cut files as a background um, not as a main feature like on here sometimes can create unique and um, uh, interesting backgrounds that just create that little bit something a bit special on your layout there so that's a really fun one so cut to you also have a variety of background cut files so you can create something similar to what I've created there as well and the last layout I'm sharing with you is um, this layout that I've recently taught this class at a local um, at a local group there and I asked Gwen to design this one for me. This one will be available in Gwen's shop um, really soon so you can keep an eye out. It says love my create dates and once again you can see that in these pastel colours I've backed this section of the cut file but create dates you can see there I have um, just use a solid, adhered it onto a solid piece and then fussy cut around the edges so that it can be that it can help it stand out a little bit as well. I've also used the off cuts, the centers of these love hearts and I've added some mixed media and all of a sudden I have three extra embellishments that I've used so um, your excess sometimes um, your off cuts like I did with this background um, piece here with those extra little offcuts sometimes can easily be incorporated into your layout. 
The other other cut file I've used here from Gwen's shop is this gorgeous little butterfly and it comes with the solid butterfly cut down there sorry in the file it comes with the solid cut butterfly it also comes with the hollowed out little wings butterfly there to match and that's what you can do is really custom color the base the solid butterfly there or use pattern paper cardstock um, for your base and then using whatever color you like white is you know I tend to be a white person you can um, add just by adhering the center of it and puffing up these little wings you can bring this these little butterflies to life by just adding a little bit of dimension there and it, they just look so sweet on, on your layouts. So there's some ideas of cup files. The other thing that Gwen does, if you're thinking, I do not know what to do, she has these great kits that you can purchase as a kit and it has a picture of the layout, all the cup file pieces that you need and it's a step-by-step -step through of a to create a beautiful layout using her cup files. So I encourage you to check out that on the website as well. So there you go. That's my. That's how I use cut files. Here's some different ideas. Traditional backing, using multi layers there and bringing your little butterflies or hearts or things like that to life. Um, backing your cut files onto a solid piece. Don't forgetting your backgrounds and try and being creative with your backgrounds. Also having fun with some mixed media on top of your cut files there. There's another gorgeous one I just love how that stands out and also getting cut files where you can incorporate your photos and partly doing some traditional backing but leaving some of your spots a little bit free is also another way and of course creating wonderful titles for your albums is even without photos you can get some really great cut files that have those really punchy titles that are really simple to back so I encourage you all to pop on over, check out the all the details below, and I hope you like my little chat about cup files. Alright guys, take care, happy scrapping, bye!